Hi guys, in this video I am going to review that how to solve the capital appraisal questions of strategic financial management HNTA 2018 past paper. Question number one, the question is POR company plans to buy a new machines, the cost of machines payable immediately is rupees 800,000. And the machine has an expected lifetime of 5 years. Additional investment in working capital 90,000. Will be required at the start of the first year of operation. At the end of 5 years, the machine will be sold for scrap. With a scrap value expected to be 5% of initial purchase of uh, purchase cost of machine. The machine will not be replaced. Uh, production and sales from the new machines are expected to 100,000 units from year 1 to 4 years. And fifth year, the production and sales will be 90,000 units. Each unit can be sold for 20 per unit in year 1, rising 12% each year due to inflations and will incur variable cost of rupees 12 per unit in year first and it will be increased by 10 percentage each year due to inflation incremental fixed cost arising from the operations of the machine will be rupees 160,000 per year PQR company has an after tax cost of capital of 15% which is used and discount rate in investment appraisal. The company pays profit tax one year in arrears at an annual rate of 30% per year. The company can claim capital allowance 25% per annum on the cost of machine. The first year allowance can claimed in the first year of production. Okay, you are required to calculate first, calculate the net profit value NPV of investment in the new machine and advise whether investment is financially acceptable. So we can uh, point out the key point and uh, let's do the summary first you need to calculate the sales price because uh, it will be arising by 12 percentage from first year uh, why uh, due to the inflation so you need to calculate the sales price first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. Okay, sales price per unit. First year 20 rupees. It will be arise by 12 percentage for each year. So it should be 20 per 20 into 1.12 percentage. So then track up to five years. So sales price per first year 20, second year 22.40, third year 25.09, fourth year 28.10, uh, fifth year. 31.47 second one we need to calculate the variable cost variable cost uh, um, can calculate as the same way variable cost for first year the variable cost is 12 uh, 12 rupees per unit 12 rupees and it should be uh, increased by 10 percentage due to inflation
ओके फर्स्ट इयर वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ट्वेल्व परसेंटेज सॉरी ट्वेल्व रुपीज सेकेंड इयर थर्टीन पॉइंट टू जीरो थर्ड इयर फोर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव टू फोर्थ इयर फिफ्टीन पॉइंट नाइन सेवन फिफ्थ इयर सेवनटीन पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट द कंट्रीब्यूशन पर यूनिट contribution per unit contribution meaning sales minus variable cost then we know the sales unit so total sales unit first year first four year is 100000 unit and fifth year 90000 unit then multiply the contribution per unit by sales unit it should be the total contribution total contributions so we can detect the fixed cost from total contributions it should be a profit fixed cost 160000 so profit contribution minus fixed cost this is a cash flow okay we can prepare the tax calculations so tax calculation we should detect the capital allowance capital allowance capital allowance is a 25 percentage of machine cost machine cost is 800000 so 800000 into 25 percentage so it should be climb up to 4 years so 5th years is zero so taxable profit cash flow minus capital allowance this is a taxable profit okay then tax is 30 percentage so tax uh, it will be paid one year arrears so we can calculate the tax first is 30 percentage okay tax as per the 30 percentage for the first year 132000 Okay, let's calculate the NPV. So, NPV table we can create like this here: cash flow, tax, and net cash flow, and capital cost of capital. and present value okay here from 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 because we need to pay the fifth year tax in sixth year so cash flow cash flow should be copy this amount to here so first year cash out 800000 plus 90000 because 90000 is a working capital 
so first year uh, cash flow Six hundred and forty thousand. Second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. Then taxes for first year tax will be paid in second year. So first year tax should be paid in second year. And second year tax should be paid in third year. Third year tax should be paid in fourth year. Fourth year tax should be paid in fifth year. Fifth year tax should be paid in sixth year. And cash flow. In the cash flow we need to add 90,000 also because this is the working capital will be at in the end of lifetime and net cash flow net cash flow for zero years 890,000 minus cash outflow and first year cash flow minus tax So we calculated the net cash flow then cost of capital cost of capital is the percentage as per the question paper is 15 percentage so 15 percentage as per the cost of capital 0 years should be 1 and they already gave the percentage for 15 percentage first year 0.8696 0 0.8696 and second year 0 0.7561 0 0.7561 and third year 0 0.6575 0 0.6575 and fourth year 0 0.571 0 0.5718 0 0.5718 and fifth year 0 0.4972 0 0.4972 and sixth year 0 0.4323 okay you can multiply the net cash flow by cost of capital it should be present value so first year present value and Sixty year present value should be minus because cash outflow and middle of the years should be plus because of the cash inflow. So total the present value then should be the net present value. Okay, net present value we calculated. This is a net present value. So this is easy way to calculate the net present value. This is the answer for question number one. So this video very useful for H and E students. Thank you.